by the end of this video, I want you to have found out whether it is better to sit down or stand up in between your workout sets. But as always, subscribe, stick around to the end, and check out the description for my coaching. Now, for most of my previous workouts, I used to just sit down in between with the duration of my rest break, and I'd scroll on social media. Now, instead of that, I sit down and I just use it as a time to think and relax, as opposed to overstimulating my mind with all the graphics and all the short form content that comes with social media. And I recommend that you do the same thing during your rest breaks. However, that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is for you to find out whether you should actually sit down or stand up. Now, the most recent workout I did, I stood up for the entirety of my rest breaks. And the reason I did this was because of some research and some old advice, which showed that your strength may actually increase if you stand up in between your workout sets and during your rest breaks. And my f my dad also gave me this advice where after you've completed like a run or something, you shouldn't sit down immediately after you've done like a shuttle run. Because if you're going to do like a second like shuttle relay run, you're going to be much slower if you stood, if you sit, sat down than if you stood up. If you stood up, your shuttle run is going to be much quicker on the second go than if you sat down, basically. And I implemented this advice in the gym because... I thought that it, I thought, I used to think that it can never like relate at all. However, I thought I'd try it and then I'd record a YouTube video on it depending on like what my results are. And usually when I do my workout sets, I do the set, I sit down, I set my timer and then when the timer's up, I go back and do my set. I did the same thing except I just didn't sit down after I'd set my timer and stuff. And for usually when I sit down during my sets, my reps go from like 15 for instance, I'm going to use the example of bicep curls. My reps go from 15, the next set is 13, and the next set is like 12 or something. However, when you stand up, and this happened like during my workout, I was using a heavier set of bicep curls. I was using heavy weights, so my reps were less, but I got to like seven reps on the first set. Then I got to like nine reps on the second set, and usually my reps never increase like at all. This doesn't usually happen. And then after that, I got to like eight reps and there's clearly something here which seems like standing up may actually be good for your workout and it may be like a kind of old wives tale it may not actually work for you but it might as well be something to try out because for most of the exercises during my workout all of the like reps i would go from maybe 12 to on the first set to 12 on the second set and then to like 11 on the third set instead of what i usually do where it goes like 12 10 nine and stuff like that that's what usually happens with a, the same amount of rest breaks i usually do like a two minute rest break in between each exercise and it like with the same rest break amount of time just by standing up my reps seem to increase and obviously that is going to cause an increase in muscle mass building so this might as well be something that you try out in your next workout and if it works for you then great carry on doing it if it doesn't work for you you might as well still try it a few more times because it's not going to really affect you that much in any way and it might as well be something you try out to see if it actually does increase your performance or not and yeah my coaching's in the description if you need any other help with working out or anything else self-improvement related and i recommend subscribing because i love this community of tribal people who want to improve themselves so much more than they already have so good luck